what's up my people how are they waiting they happen waiting this up um guys i don't know if you guys have um seen that show or watched the show young famous and african um where annie two Face db and the rest were start in um it's a nice show and um annie db i would describe her you know in that show as somebody who is a little bit complicated um, but at the same time, a sweet person, a very, very emotional person. And she's also that person, right, that try to, you know, make you understand that she's older than you. You know, that kind of vibe, that's what she gives. It might also come from, you know, a marriage or what she's going through, get angry easily. You know, it's just, it's just that. But um, a a snippet surfaced on social media recently. I think I watch, I watched this part actually because I watched the full video. I'm still watching though. Um, she said, "Stop dragging my innocent husband, that's a husband, on social media." I mean, what do you expect a wife to say? But this lady really is. She's she's a strong woman. You could see it. It, anytime they talk about the husband, anytime they, they mention the husband or something, she breaks down and starts crying. You you know that this lady is fighting something. Any little thing you mention that too, okay, two face, or you just mention like two face and the rumors, just a little bit, just for a few seconds, she will break down. Even though she's talking about it, so yeah, I watched the show. I I started watching yesterday. Yeah, it's a nice show actually. Um, guys, let us watch this clip. Stop. Just stop. Keep my marriage in break. Because you guys are busy hoping or praying that something is wrong with my marriage. And you just want me to tell you, oh, you know, say messed up. I don't even know who my friend is anymore in the group. After, you know, the video about Two-Face, um, talking about how, you know, men are wired to cheat this man reacted to that this pastor kingsley um Okonkwo, uh he says that no man is wired to cheat don't believe that lie from hell however there seems to be proof that men are more prone to sexual temptation than women of course uh, women are tempted too okay uh, but clearly the sexual proclivity of men is very different from women here are some reasons one men have higher sex drive than women men have a higher dose of testosterone <laughs> which is the sex hormone um two men are capable of enjoying sex without any emotion connection hence while prostitution is mainly men funded men are visually stimulated so just being a man in today's world is an automatic temptation because your view is attacked daily however um all this is never an excuse to cheat and hurt someone you claim you love self-control by god's uh, grace is how to go guys do you agree with this because we know there are people out there who supported two-face in fact a lot of people funny enough uh supported two-face but they said this is just the time and place he said it okay guys the amvca let us quickly get right into this one right there's um um the argument going on and debate on social media concerning the amvca uh, they said that they give awards to the wrong people for example the emergence of this um actress bimbo ademoye as winner in the best actress in a comedy tv series category as the amvca has sparked disagreements among fans ademoye won the award for a role in the series selena defeating other nominees including mercy johnson and funke akindeli while some fans believe that uh you know Adem ademoye deserved the award others felt what about Mercy Johnson, who was nominated for the role in Passport? Was it, that Mercy Johnson was unjustly deprived of the prize? Social media users expressed mixed opinions on the outcome. One um, Jola wrote here: "As much as I am happy Bimbo won the award, I'm a little bummed. Uh, Mercy Johnson lost because she's too good, too good. Especially in Booker Street, she was fantastic. Me, in, to be honest with you now, eh?" any movies they start mercy johnson trust me i will enjoy that movie if, even though i don't enjoy um other other scenes mercy johnson's part if it's comedy you ha he mercy johnson they kill him steady um uh, another twitter user says here nominating mercy johnson twice in the same category for different movies was the first blow because 
obviously the votes were going to be divided passport was a comedy and was perfect for the comedy category but battle on uh, booker street was not a comedy i've got another person who will say she is good and deserves something but in a comedy category when mercy johnson was nominated twice yo that was a gift when bimbo at demo grace that award where funky akindele and mercy johnson was no one said anything though, but now you all are crying ah another person here it's called viewers choice awards oh. you all should stop complaining it's a popularity contest everything is by vote and not who actually deserves it next time campaign and vote for your fave the last person here you are the ones not understanding the same fans voted for bimbo to win best actress in a comedy in a comedy against mercy johnson and funke and yet somehow didn't vote for her to win this one against osas now let's talk a little bit about funke akindele <laughs> my question is after politics what's up what's up with funke akindele and i think some people um who are not following these celebrities or who are following these celebrities but notice that these celebrities are not trending you know they keep asking the question what's up with funke akindele honestly nothing much is going on on this lady's page she just posts videos of her vibing to songs just enjoying herself generally but again she put out motivational um you know but again she put out motivational quotes or motivational speaker these are how they think they call her she puts it out every once in a while you know on her page in fact there was one said work on being in love with a person in the mirror who has been who has been through a lot but is still resilient that's from uh funke akindele she uh, she was also at the amvca and she shares this video on her page i mean about her dress and everything that happened during the moment at the amvc 2023 moment let's watch oh yeah get ready with me had a funke here slaying gay ha me copy being by no koya queen of me copy oh yeah beast my face oh the dress is here fiki james fiki james you finish work oh yeah snaps me snaps me oh look at my soul glistering oh this dress is beautiful. Kilo de Fiki James, you finish work. Oh, hold the feather in the in the head, the yeah. The shaker in town, we plug this. We're gonna put it in this gown. Oh, it's very beautiful. Look at my ways. Oh my god. I enter Zimon Yata Food Gentleman. Ah, this I get get try. Let me carry my dress. Oh, in your bong head. Oh, I love your dress, beautiful girl. Oh, you have blue tooth keys in the house. Oh, you amazing. Oh, look at me. Oh, hinta feel. Look at my dress. Julius, Lilian. Ah, Tomeke. New mommy of second baby. Oh, yeah. Ah, look at people taking pizza. My vans. Hey, fine gift. People continue to argue on social media. You know, Osas won best actress in a drama. And this sparked you know mixed reactions again on social media some believe that you know she's the wrong person that she, it's not like she's, she's not a good actress but on this category that's very competitive no she doesn't deserve it there are other people you know like bimbo ademoe yeah some people mention bimbo uh ademoe in a nicola bokuti and um unse ikwe etim in shanty town this um unse that actress is so good same thing like uh, you know i told you guys i like mercy johnson's part in any comedy any comedy as long as mercy johnson did it i like her scenes now same thing <laughs> goes uh for this lady um uh, say any film serious part not funny because she's not i mean she's not a comedian serious part this lady's part is she there's a way she does it that you feel like it's real when she cries, she cries for real. Like you feel it. Although she's acting. She's so good. And I think that's why people are like, oh no, waiting up on why they go give this girl. Or Sass too is she's a good actress. But somebody says, I next resort this night. Beauty and Osas armed robbers. You know, it's <laughs> votes. You know, if you guys have voted for Unse, I don't think she will be complaining. Like a lot of people will be complaining. So yeah uh another person here says um this woman right here one of the best actresses 
uh, Nigeria has ever produced. When Unse is acting, you leave everything you're doing and watch her. Give her any role. She will bring it to life. But I still think she doesn't get the accolade she deserves. I also think so. I think so. Now, let's put that aside. Let's talk about Destiny Etiko. Others, you know, you hear these people's name on social media, right? Um, um, Zubi Michael, Yule Dochi, Destiny Etiko. These people trends on social media. They have a huge number of followers on social media. But do they get awards? The AMVCA awards? No. They they don't give these people any awards. I mean, I think um Zuby is gradually branching out. I've seen a couple of movies, you know, Netflix movies, but not uh, this uh girl, Destiny Etiko, and even um Yule Doce, no. So, guys, what do you think? They call them Asaba actresses and actors. What do you think about this? Um they 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 were um calling or asking some of these um um asaba uh, nollywood fans asking the uh, um the amvca to find a category for epic um movies you know so that people like zubi and destiny Etiko, they can be eligible but people are like no don't you guys know that you, you have to submit your videos right your your videos can be on um african magic but you have to submit to AMVCA, that way fans will be able to vote for them. Uh, like this um, actress, um, she says something here. But before, I think we have okay. We're gonna we're gonna read some comment. But before that, the the, the conversation between the we're gonna read the conversation between um, um, Inkechi Blessing and uh, this actress Adama Luke. Um, Adama had posted African magic epic has been um sustaining views and possibly making the highest earnings on multi-choice group for years i think it's time you guys give them their flowers and recognize them when it comes to giving awards i believe i'm speaking the mind of uh, some i believe i'm speaking the mind of some great actors who feel it's all um about some group of cartels that keeps getting invites and winning uh said she included Eurobas. i think it's time you recognize actors shooting good movies in the east also they also keep the entertainment industry i think i think what she's missing here what is missing here is packaging everything now packaging if you check most of these movies and eh, they apply, apply appear on netflix and once they appear on netflix they start trending on twitter it's crazy these people, you know, these epic movies or this um, quote unquote ass about uh, movies, they get a lot of views on YouTube. But is YouTube enough? I don't think so. You know, I think Netflix is another platform that puts them out there so that when you when you submit your movies, a lot of fans can vote. My opinion, though, um, and I like how she a conversation between bless, uh, blessing. I actually made this mistake. Blessing, blessing, see you. No blessing. Uh, Sunday, uh, Nketi blessing, and Adana. I like how she you know handle a conversation with Nketi blessing. I think Nketi blessing took it personal initially because she saw like where she included um Yoruba and she's also part of the Yoruba actresses. You know, part of the Yoruba industry. Um, so I think she took it personal. Here, Unkechi had said, if you did not submit your movie, how will they see it? Please, you should know better now. They called for movie submission. We are not supposed to do this thing again this year. And she replied, lies, NK, forget. We know, say, this one now on our own. Where is the epic category? Babe, I know one just talk plenty, but things they happen for dear forget. Um, there are categories for epic, and that's the indigenous language that consists of Igbo, Yoruba, um, Hausa. Do your movie and submit it. You can't do a movie, put on African magic, and ask the organizers to go and watch it there. If you don't submit for review, you cannot be nominated. Simple. She's got a point, actually. And she replied, I believe African magic is a channel on its own and should be given their category. That's all. If there is a category for epic, a lot of people would have tried their luck. I'm not saying for myself, but I think she's she digressed a little bit here, to be honest. She's talking about submission here, and you're saying another thing. She said, all I'm saying is that the epic channel needs to be recognized. The epic channel, I don't understand. Well, 
Ukechi blessing actually um make some reasonable points here so let us read uh some comments um here somebody here says as about hood unano sabi act just be sincere to yourself i think they are good actors who and actresses so because me i enjoy i enjoy their movies so to be honest <laughs> i enjoy their movies it's i see I, I find it's funny i like the comedy part a lot by the way um i said unano you know they see bimbo messy funke acting pass act acting pass acting another thing is you know these people will put uh, their their title on um on youtube the poor man who or <laughs> or the rich man who, who pretended to be poor but later married a a house help uh the house help whose father uh is a governor uh but pretended to be poor and the mar and and was trampled upon or was stepped upon by you know like just those kind of titles like <laughs> there are some netflix movies that i watch very baseless storyline very very rubbish storyline okay i i'll use this as an example we'll come back to the comments and eh? we'll come back to the comments i'll use it as an example my own opinion is a personal opinion right that's why i always say leave in the comment section below your own opinion too so see this one now eh? somebody says did you see femi adebayo in king of thieves that category choke leave hard work i beg big boys did uh, it for toby happy for him but we know the jagabans in that category who are the jagabans biko you said uh femi adebayo in king in king of thieves oh my god that that movie eh? hey i don't know is it is a personal opinion no? but i i that movie i don't enjoy the movie in fact I, I, it's, I see him as a waste of waste of my time toby's part um in, in um gangs of lagos makes sense it's not like the storyline is superb but they still try they still try to be honest makes sense um chidi mokeme's part uh, uh, I, in fact if i am the one giving the award i would have given it to chidi mokeme but toby bakari to try toby bakari to deserve the award nakondi say femi adibayo I mean, not be the movie where I watch uh, this thing. Well, so ah, some people enjoy it, chat, but me, I don't, I don't enjoy that movie. I don't enjoy that movie. I don't enjoy the movie at all. Another person here says, "How can I vote for a movie where the soundtrack is louder than the words uh, they are saying, or the one where they will confuse your brain before the movie ends?" I beg, Epic should rest. A, a, um, only Mama them they watch them and they don't vote they would have just been playing old nigerian movies on that epic station because those asaba movies no follow another person here, how would they acknowledge epic when a movie is five hours due is five hours long i be uh, them no get work again now to sit down watch one file for five hours uh people don't read asaba uh people why meanwhile genevieve don't do a, a near do um them started uh, there as about who that has just um one storyline prince or princess want to marry a poor oh this is the comment you see i didn't even see this guys i did not see this comment before making my own comment i'm telling you they say um oh boy the mother refuses <laughs> they run away they run come back prince become king end of movie not like he the movie they said nothing intriguing but the movie is interesting but it seems like the storylines are always similar but they interpret it well um another person here says zubi don't the don't the asaba would buy house for lagos build mansion for asaba build for Unisha. currently um building a massive hotel in asaba and lagos at the same time make una um hold um the award is like um comfortable with money and doing this. yeah Okay, uh, moving on to the next one. This lady is the best dressed, best dressed female. And I'm like, it's not like I'm huge in fashion, but I saw some dresses that are so superb that I feel like they could have, you know, gotten this recognition instead of this one. This one is kind of regular though. I mean, come on. We want that kind of Lady Gaga style. Sometimes, in an event, this is. Anyways, uh, we also have Tatcha here saying that she, she even shared the invoice. Uh, she claimed that she paid twenty thousand dollars for the blue dress she wore. 
Congratulations, Tatcha. I don't think sometimes eh, I feel like these people rent these things because once you wear it the first time, second time, as a celebrity, third time, people are already getting tired of it. So I think sometimes I think these people rent it. I just I just think so. Okay, guys, moving on to the next one. Here is about um Mejul Doce and the second wife Judy. This story is something that i mean I, I know most of you that watch my videos every day must have um sensed that how i just you know pass pass to it <laughs> yeah just like i'm about to do now let's listen to people's opinions um about these uh couples let's go ahead facebook chief blogger and they have a saragi with the Duchess family. What do you consign you? What do you consign you? Can't you rest? Can't you rest? It's more than a year now. You people are still coming out to fight people. But give me one, yeah. You're not you're not friends with the wife, with any of his wives or him himself. But you you keep on you keep fighting. Rest. Rest in Jesus' name. Rest. Rest. On your cocoa, vami, fire. On your post to vami, tire. Meanwhile, you have your house is gone away. I became short of words. I just was, I lost every word to try and qualify because my empathy was basically on you and me. Because I was thinking in my head. These people just lost a child. How badly we did look if we now come and be analyzing you, you. He just lost a child. How badly will it look? So I tried to soft pedal, just looking for flimsy excuses for him until we saw him in the car and saw him together and everybody, I couldn't even say much anymore. Now, because Judy's guts is alarming. We thought after the first video, the whole madness could stop. But he no stop. -o. In fact, he wants Judy, Judy to stay off him for a while. And you all took note of it. Except you want to lie. Because suddenly, he deleted all the pictures on his page. I thought he was out of out of it was griefing your know, grief that was what i thought that he just lost it his brain wasn't just thinking right that he just did what he needed to do just so that he would feel oh, he didn't know what to do he's angry he's angry in fact i was of the opinion i thought that he was no more in the house so you know my heart, my heart bled more for the fact that he's probably not in the house. He wasn't there. He didn't see that boy. But thank God he came out to tell us that boy bidded him farewell in the morning on his way to school for his exam that fateful day that we lost that boy. So, remember Jude, he stayed off him, deleted his pictures on Instagram and was trying to save focus. We all saw it. Only for Judy to call him on phone, say, her pastor, see one vision to you, Lo. Say, if he's not fast, then, then go kill you, Lo. Now, so the wandering prick, when no one die, but one use prick cause trouble, collected the prophet's number. The prophet is said to be based in Nemo. According to my source, the prophet told you that he needs to see him fast to avert what is about happening again. It was said that you told the prophet that he couldn't come as he was still mourning. This child, mourning his child. Long story short, they shall arrange a day for the prophet to come instead of them going. That was the beginning of May May's woes. 
The pastor came. After prayer, it was said that the prophet told you that May wanted to kill you and Judy with pregnancy. Because this happens in polygamy. The reason why you people will be saying, hey, some of you have even abused me. Aren't you from polygamous home? Your father is a polygamist during his lifetime. Why are you condemning polygamy? It is the beginning you will see. Can you stay when the part two, part three starts? Okay, guys, moving on to the next one. Speaking about couples, here we have um, Davido in a recent interview with Beat 105. Uh, so, Davido expressed um, that his wife Choma was the biggest decision he ever made. They got married a few months ago following the tragic loss of their son Ifain. Davido praised Choma's um, cooking skills and described our you know, relationship as a strong bond, mentioning that they grew up and went to school together. He emphasized uh, the importance of finding someone who understands and complements you. Now, David O stating that uh, their match is perfect from heaven. Uh, David O also revealed that he has known Choma for nearly 20 years. I think that's a mistake. And I think people need to understand this part of, of you know, people not just celebrities, um, people that speak generally or that have been interviewed, as long as you're talking, you can make mistakes. Sometimes even myself, I did make mistake for here. Maybe say if I did talk, I will make mistake. But the, the people who don't watch my video for a long time will be like, they will just understand automatically because they know, say, <laughs> to the talk, it's not easy, especially in front of a camera. But yeah, I think that that was a mistake. Maybe he was probably trying to say, ah, I met her when she was like 20 uh, years old or something. What is the key to happiness in finding uh, your your partner? Like with me, people ask me that, but like with me and my wife, like we grew up together, basically like we went to school mm. together. So it's like... Y'all was already locked in? Nah, like we met in school. But uh -huh. it's like, I mean, we we're just so used to each other. It's like, she's like a, it's like a part of me. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, you definitely have to get somebody that understands you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. And with me and my wife, we're just perfect. There was no, there's nothing like I'm that she does like crazy. That it's know? just, it's just a good match. It's just a good match. So and we, we, we say school. You mean high school or college? College. College. So college, okay. First year in college, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? But man, best decision you ever made. Ever. Oh, and since I've known her for like well, almost 20 years you know what I'm saying and she could cook whoa oh yeah she's a chef she's an influencer man boy see that's that's that Elisa's seen my uh my failed love life the past what month it's been bad <laughs> it's bad <laughs> you, bounce, you bounce back oh, oh yeah definitely I'm definitely here we have a lady who called out a man who lied to her that is a single father just so they c he can date. <laughs> I don't know how people do this thing. So that lady went to his place to disgrace him. That how can you, a man, eh, lie to someone? You, a married man, married still with your wife, and your wife is still is carrying another child. She said the wife was even pregnant around that time. I don't know i don't know how people do this but i just wonder why you would lie just to get in the pants of some there are so many girls out there that you don't even need to lie to <laughs> it's not like i'm encouraging cheating but trust me there are so many people that you don't even need to lie to so many girls you will just they just run it and then too they will know what they are getting themselves into but yeah you know it's just so crazy and i i i understand I wouldn't say I understand her pain, but you know, you could sense how bad she feels. Um, and she said after she confronted the man, the man threatened to kill her more about relationship. What they're trying to say is, is the same story that we've been talking about for a very long time. Um, about couples who leave Nigeria, get over there, and lady the lady go show them pepe. The man helping the lady with the document and everything to travel abroad. And when they get there, the lady will leave the man and or throw the man out of the house, especially Nigerian couples. And I remember asking a question back then. 
were they really um in the happy marriage before they left nigeria was the marriage stable since my husband brought me to the uk i am no longer in love with him since my husband brought me to the uk i am no longer in love with him i knew him when we were in nigeria he asked me to go and start a, a nursing school in nigeria so i started I finished. Though he was not the only one that paid my school fees, he was also assisting me and my parents too. So he now traveled to, to the UK. So now to cut the long story short, he came now to come and pick me. He did the necessary document from Nigeria to the UK. So I came. I did one year again in the university in the UK. Now I have just started working, but I don't love my husband. I don't love him. I am no longer in love with him and I don't know what to do. I called him. He also noticed it that I am so cold. I am not faking it. I am not faking it at all. I don't find any attraction in him anymore. Okay, somebody um, shared this video with me. A fan of this channel actually was the one who shared this video with me. And they are the ones talking in the video. So they are engaged to um, a non-Nigerian, in fact, a German woman. And here they showed comparison between non-Nigerian woman and a Nigerian woman let me know your thoughts in the comment section below so my woman just prepared hot top for me now for bath top for me like this now hot tea day i want to relax and snacks day i want to relax for inside this bath top for the next one hour so my question why they ask myself the same man. how many of our nigerian women they do the same thing for their partner right now for europe me and my woman will never marry i only, I only just engage her to the extent of sponge right in the bath she put on here my towel don't already there yet this one now she not doing because of say maybe she now based on we could smarter because me and she will not say me for the next one month we're not going to even do because based on one or two but our women don't enter europe come begin to misbehave the fuck up this one a german woman or Igbo woman as she be we never marry now just engagement see what she did do for me she did do one for summer also but our women that they want to do past their self. This one are my waiting where woman they do for me, right? She they do a steadily on a steady. This one not be to chase clout or whatever. Okay, guys, moving on to the next one. Here we have a <laughs> a man. I think this one happened in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, the Minister of um, the Primary, Secondary, and Technical Education in Congo, Tony, reportedly admitted to accidentally accidentally impregnating his deputy minister <laughs> aminata is her name despite being married though both officials develop feelings for each other while working together in the education uh, ministry the affair was reviewed by a journalist on twitter and the lady has denied the allegation emphasizing the need to respect her personal life and avoid tarnishing her image and that of her married colleagues Moving on to the next one, here we have um, Idia Hilda Bassi. She shares her testimony at church, um, Harvester's Christian Center. She was super excited and went to church. She said, I always prayed that God's grace would be sufficient for me. Uh, guys, let us watch this uh, video of our testimony in church. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Pastor. And... I feel like, I think I've said this in quite a number of interviews, but being able to get to that 100 hour mark was a miracle. And I don't say this lightly because in truth, six hours in, my body had failed. And at that point, I knew that the only person that could make it happen was God. And I honestly feel like if anybody knows my story up until this point, you would understand that God is good and God is not asleep. And I say to everybody out there 
and you just need to pray and you just need to believe because God has put something in your hand and you just need to allow his grace to shine on you. And one of the biggest things I pray for is that the grace of God will always be sufficient for me because honestly, Pastor had preached about grace and he had said there are different kinds of grace. You know, there's grace for money and there's grace for favor. But what you need is to have all around grace. That's right. And when I prayed about this attempt, I prayed for all around grace. Because in truth, you know, a lot of people have talked about being able to afford PR, but there is no amount of money that can get the love. The news could have gone out there and nobody would still care. Yeah, that's Yoda Basi right there. And Yoda Basi um, went out with a um, couple of people, friends, to get them food at another restaurant and she spent one million naira and people were like why didn't you take why didn't they go to her restaurant why did they why they won't waste this lady money you know me say i can't the one that's yeah not true say this lady broke world record nobody banks if she break oh happy sunday guys so today we went to church to thank god for a successful cookathon after service we decided to stop by at Seca to have brunch. You guys, we ordered the old world. When our bill came in, it was 1.1 million. We were like, what? What did we order? But no worries because we are with the world record breaker. So she paid the bill. Hey guys, what do you think about this? The piercings on this child, this little innocent child's ears. Ha! see some parenting ah yeah yeah okay that is it moving on to the next one this one now uh, politics small politics the prophecies out there eh? now say tinobu no go be president of nigeria even though he won the election say the day where they go swarm swan i'm in so something go happen they said this pastor right he said after six months the loser will become the president uh, it will not be a coup d'etat a coup but will be like a military intervention. Uh, but this one wake me up. Man, I'm listening to these two man of God waiting they talk. Oh. What do you people about the Nigeria election? Have you seen what has happened? Huh? Um, I want to Facebook, uh, YouTube to watch that video. You are record over 4,000 people. And some people have started sending me messages from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They say, how could I send you? He said, I should pray for him. He watched my destiny on YouTube. Oh, but you can sit under an anointed man of God and not believe in him. Why another person far away is taking the anointing? <laughs> far away. <laughs> you people, you people should watch it. I told you the one who will win the election will not sit on the throne. But six months after, you watch it. Bibibe Siwa Nigeria, it has never happened in the politics of Africa. Nigeria is the eye of God in Africa. No, con no country on the continent of Africa has produced great men of God than Nigeria. No apostle has raised the dead in the world than the apostles in Nigeria. The Oye Depots, the Idahoses, at the boy years and those uh, and god want to create a revival what to spread over the world and nigeria is the center the reason for the controversy and the political chaos happening there i am giving those of you here who are nigerian tell your brothers i'm giving you a prophecy what is going to happen on the day of the investiture of the declared president something will happen and listen, the one that won the election, I won't mention anybody's name, I'm on air. The one that won the election and the one who lost, quarter top the tail. Eh? Both of them will not sit on the throne, but after six months, the loser will be the president. Without another election, without another election, you'll be the president. For on the day of the investiture, I saw 17 angels. It will not be a coup d'etat, but it will be like a military intervention. 
it will not be a good deter. But I said, I repeat, it will be like a military intervention. And the whole world will be shocked. Yaboja gathering. Presidents from different parts of Africa have all gathered. We are going to swear in the elected president and everything will thank yours. After six months, the court will say, the one who lost Quata, Quata, you know Quata, Quata. Quata, not even the second, Quata, I won't mention the name, Quata, 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 Quata. He lost Quata, Quata, Quata. No hope. If three people are running, they say, you are the first. This one is the second, this one is the third. Huh? Then they say, you, you stole the track, so you are disqualified. Then, of course, the second one here must be the first, isn't it? But instead of the second one being the first, then this one rather they say is the one that is the first. God is in it. He's gotten a ticket now and they've called him the president elect. It looks like that, and some people are rejoicing. I say it again, mark my word. Mark my word. Days are coming. May 29th is here. The protests will be going on. May 29th will be is here. On that day, I saw a gathering of people. I saw, it, I saw the vision again. I saw a gathering of people. And the man who was given the ticket uh, or the certificate of return or certificate of, um, what do you call it? Sorry, I don't have the right word. If you can help me with the right word, right there. The certificate of return or whatever they call it. The man will be in that place where he's about to be sworn in. As the swearing name is, as the ceremony is ongoing, I saw the old place filled with people. And uh, while well, the old place, I'm trying to look at what I I'm trying to look at what the Lord told me. I saw a crowd. A certificate of return, thank you. Certificate of return, thank you. So I saw a crowd and they were clothed, they were dressed. Then suddenly the guy was excited. Then suddenly, as I looked closer, I saw that the people seated were not humans. They were mannequins. You know the mannequins they use in um, in fashion houses? They were mannequins. They were mannequins. So this guy was about to be sworn in to be to be sworn in to be president to be sworn in to be president over mannequins. What does that mean? It means that there is a deception in the realm of the spirit against him. The Lord said to me, I have put lies in the mouth of his prophet. I have put lies in the mouth of his sorcerers. I have put lies in the mouth of the people around him. Political counterpart. Mannequins. Mannequins. About to be sworn. About to be sworn. About to be sworn. I like to type it that the enemy of Nigeria shall be deceived. As I saw that, then I saw him taken away. He was taken away. And while he was taken away from the place, from where he was about to be sworn in, he was taken away. The man given the said he was taken away. So I'm telling you categorically, here for an apostle high, as the God of heaven leaves, <laughs> May 29th will come. May that certificate will turn to nothing. May 29th will come. May that certificate will amount to nothing. It will remain, uh, what else you put on your shelf? It will remain one of those certificates you, you got that, that, that uh, became useless. May 29th will come. It will turn to nothing. Now, listen carefully to me, children of God. Don't lose hope. Right? Some people say eh, everything is over. It's not over. Play your part in prophecy. Don't lose hope. Play your part in prophecy. I speak as God's oracle. Go and check my track record. Personal prophecies, national prophecies, state prophecy, global prophecy. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not miss by the spirit. Guys, hey, this is uh, this is becoming serious. These prophecies ah, are the weight that the. I just the I just the wait. Moving on to the next one. This is about Dangote refinery opening today. The refinery, this refinery eh, is expected to create markets for the one billion dollars per annum Nigerian crude. 
in addition to foreign exchange earnings of 9.9 .9 billion dollars not billion billion are just the year dollars the cost of the refinery grew to 19 billion dollars so from initial estimate of between 12 billion dollars and 14 billion dollars after years of delays ah yeah yeah the money saved the it give me headache so i even saw um this thing there uh is a video actually surfaced on social media peter obi was there and Buari is supposed to be there today you know uh and there are other um other facts you know about the about the refineries like it is located in bejuleki lagos covering a land area of approximately 2635 hectares and the refinery is powered by a 435 uh, megawatt power plant at full capacity it can meet 100 percent of the nigerian requirement of all refined products and also have surplus for exports designed for 100 percent nigerian crude with flexibility to process other crudes wow hotel dollar even uh said here countdown to commissioning of the eighth wonder of the world and the biggest refinery tomorrow history is made wow okay guys moving on to the next one the united kingdom is planning to introduce new restrictions that may prevent nigerian students and students of other nationalities from bringing their families to the uk the proposed crackdown expected to be announced this week <laughs> now guys it would ban most master students and other postgraduate from bringing their families however the ban would not apply to phd students who are considered highly skilled the move comes as net migration into the uk has reached 1 million the uk government is expected to announce the immigration clampdown soon to address the increasing numbers oh guys guess what here's what they said according to reports students brought 135 over 135,000 family members to Britain last year, nine times more than in 2019. Last year, over 59,000 Nigerian students brought over 60,000 relatives. Wow. Okay, guys, uh, finally, here's where we're going to hold it. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe, guys, until we see you next time. Peace out.